you want me to leave? Oh, no. I hope you'll stay as long as you can. You sure you're not too tired? No, no, actually. I'm feeling very good right now. Very excited. Mac? Mm -hmm. Yes, Richard? You're going to tell Jamie that Sandy's your son, aren't you? Yes. I think it's time. Sandy talked me out of it all this time, but after this close call, I realized I should have done it long ago. I understand. How do you feel about it? Well, at first, I was frightened when I found out you had a son. Oh, what frightened? I guess it was jealousy. I was worried that it would affect how you think about Jamie. Oh, Rachel, you know that would never happen. Nothing and no one will ever change the way I feel about Jamie. Yes, I know that now. I've given it a lot of thought. I know Jamie's been through a lot. But he's come through it just fine. I think he's even stronger for it. I believe after his initial surprise, he'll, he'll be very pleased. Because he and Sandy have become so close in these past months. Just like brothers. I just wish I knew how he was going to take it. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Have you seen Sandy around? No, I haven't. Not for a while, anyway. Oh, I wonder where he went. Something wrong? Uh, not as far as I know. Mac wants to see him. Actually, he wants to see both of us. Well, he, he probably just went home. He looked a little tired. Uh, yeah. Um, can I use your phone? Sure, sure. Gorey resident. Yes, hello, Louise. Oh, this is Jamie. Yes. Is, uh, is Sandy around by any chance? No, he's not. Oh. Well, he's probably on his way. When he gets there, could you ask him to return to the hospital? Certainly. Jamie, is, is there a problem? Is Mr. Gorey all right? No, Louise, he, he made it through the operation all right, and he seems to be doing okay. He just wants to see Sandy. Oh, well, I'm pleased he's feeling well enough for that. Do give him my best. I certainly will. Okay, well, thank you, Louise. Did you find him? What? Did you find him? Oh, uh, no, he, uh, he must be on his way to the house. Yeah, probably. Listen, Marianne, when he gets here, could you send him right up to Mac's room? Mm -hmm. Mac wants to see Sandy, and, uh, and I think it must be pretty important. Rick, I'll tell you, Mac Corey is a very lucky man. He handled that situation up in the cabin brilliantly. Made all the right decisions about getting him moved from North Bay community. That, plus the quick thinking in the ambulance, saved his life. Hey, Rick. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm really glad I could do something. Well, now, listen, I wouldn't exactly call saving the man's life simply doing something. Well, it comes with the job, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, you see. You did a very good job. Well, thanks. I really, I really appreciate that. Rick, mm. what is it? What's the matter? Nothing. Well, if it's nothing, it's occupying a great deal of your consciousness at the moment, huh? This is rather obvious, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, it's, it's, um... It's a personal matter. It's nothing to do with the, mm. the hospital. Well, you know what? I have been known to listen to personal problems, too. Yes, that's true. Uh, Marianne and I had a fight. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> <laughs> Let me on, tell that's... you something. One fight is not the end of the world. <laughs> no. No, it's not. Russ, mm. do you think, let's see, do you think that, Jean, that Marianne was in love with Jamie Frame before we got married? Uh, well, uh, 
I know that Marianne cared a lot for Jamie. I mean, but I don't know this for being in love. I, I just, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I think that she was in love with him. And I think that she married me because she was pregnant with my child. Oh, come on now. I mean, that that's assuming an awful lot, isn't it? I don't know. I'm maybe seeing things the way they really are. Or maybe you're just being awfully difficult on, on Mary Ann, huh? I, I don't know. I really don't know. But what I do know is that I will not play second best. I will not be Mary Ann's second choice. And now, the continuing story of Another World. How's it going, Jason? Is this a Mitch Blake I see before me? This Mitch Blake in front of me? Well, I guess my eyes aren't deceiving me. I would never deceive you, Jason. Well, it's so good to see you in such a good mood, buddy. Well, things are going good for the moment. And what is the cause of this jubilation? Well, I have made some decisions about Rachel. Decisions about Rachel? And what uh, might these decisions about Rachel be? Well, I've been thinking about her, Matthew, and us as a family. And I've realized some things. Well, what's that? Well, for one thing, some of the happiest moments I've had have been with her. And Matthew has made things much better. Are you sure you're looking at this thing straight? How so? Well, if you've been happy lately, then I'd hate to see you when things are going bad. You've been pretty down over the lady for the last little while. Yes, you're right. I haven't been down. Mm-hmm. So then what is all this? Well, I was down because I thought I was losing Rachel. I guess to her past. Well... The lady does have a lot of strings attached to her here. So all you have to do is make her forget, huh? No. I won't try to make her forget. But I am going to try to get her to leave Bay City. That's all you, uh, that's all you want to do? Move away from Bay City? <laughs> this is where you live, man. Listen, I know that, but there are other places, you know. Uh, yeah, for you, maybe. But what, what makes you think that Rachel will want to leave here? Well, She's know. been here a long time. She's I got know. family I here. Know. But I hope she'll understand, and I think she'll agree. We've talked about moving before, but there's always been something that's, uh, you know, held her back. So why is it different this time? Well, for one thing, I think she's going to get custody of Amanda. Amanda? Okay, Amanda. What about Jamie? Jamie? Jamie's getting his act together. Maybe. Well, I think with uh, Matthew and Amanda, myself... We'll be her family. But we're going to need her backing. And the only way that that's going to happen is if we leave Bay City and start some other place. Have you talked to her about this? No, not yet. It's asking a lot of the lady. Yeah, I know that. But if we're going to have a life together, we're going to have to leave Bay City. Otherwise, our relationship isn't going to survive. Oh, where's Sandy? I, uh, I couldn't find him downstairs. He oh. probably went to the house. Oh, did you call Louise? Yeah, I called Matt, but there's no luck. He's probably on his way. Oh, Jamie, I, I need to see him. Yes, I, I know, Mac, and as soon as I can find him, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I have something very important to say to you, and I have to have both you and Sandy here in order to say it. Okay, Mac. Okay. Mac, as as soon as Jamie finds Sandy, he'll tell him. So don't get upset. I'm not upset. Mac, there can't be that many possibilities. He's he's either on his way to the house or he's somewhere here in the hospital. He, he can't be far. Well, I hope so. And Mac, when I see him or talk to him, I promise we'll both come back, okay? Please. Please do that, Jamie. What I have to say is so important to all of us.
Coincidence, you know, Rick and I just uh, had a discussion about that relationship earlier today. So you know what the problem is? Well, I know Rick's side of it. I know he's upset about what he thinks is the relationship between uh, Marianne and Jamie. Mm. And I told him that, uh, well, they've been close for years. I just hope Rick doesn't have any cause for worry. Now, come on, you're not really suggesting that Marianne and, and, and Jamie are having an affair. Oh, of course. Oh, Ross, of course they're not having an affair. Well, then what is it? What did Marianne have to say? Well, she tells me that she loves Rick and she wants her marriage to be, you know, perfect. But ever since she lost the baby, she, uh, she wonders whether or not they would have gotten married if she hadn't been carrying his child. Uh-huh. Oh, then... then... Rick's feelings are justified. I mean, they're exactly the doubts that he's having. Well, no, I don't, I don't really think that Marianne has any doubts. Now, she really wants the marriage to work. If, in fact, if I think if there's any questioning, it's Rick. Well, maybe he should be questioning. I mean, what about Jamie? What did Marianne say about Jamie? Well, first of all, she said she loves Rick. Uh-huh. But she also said that she cares a lot about Jamie. Well, then, then your daughter has herself in, uh, well, a very uncomfortable position, doesn't she? Yes, she does. But Rick is the last person that she'd want to hurt. Ross, I just wish they could solve this difference. There's nothing in the world I want more than to see Marianne happy. Hi, Ben. While I was on break, I thought I'd come and visit you. How are you? How nice of you, Alice. I'm fine. Are you sure? Is there anything I can get you? No, thank you. I don't need anything. Thanks just the same. Something wrong, Mac? No, no. You know, I can always tell when something's bothering me. <laughs> well, I guess it's because I have a lot on my mind, and that plus being very, very tired. Well, then I think you should get some rest. I think you'll find that uh, whatever's worrying you won't be quite so important after a nice long nap. Okay. Okay. Thank you for visiting me. Alice. Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you have just a moment, though? Of course, ma'am. I, I was wondering how things are going between you and Sally. Better. <sighs> Much better. Although, uh, things were pretty difficult there for a while. I was really very upset when I found out that Sally and Lee were getting married. Even though the wedding date isn't for ten months yet, I mean, had a hard time coming to terms with the idea. Mm -hmm. But we've managed to settle our differences now. Good. Do you know what the final outcome of all this has been, Mac? No. Tell me. I've realized how important it is to me to be close to my daughter. I can understand that very well. I imagine you would. We're in much the same situation, you and I. We both have adopted children. Children who came to us as children and not infants. Mm -hmm. And yet I can see that Jamie means just as much to you as Sally does to me. Oh, yes. He's my son as much as if he were my natural son. Of course, I'm aware he must always be remembering his own father, too. Jamie meant a great deal to Stephen. I know that Stephen loved him very much. 
I also know that Stephen would be very pleased that Jamie has a father like you now. Well, that's very nice of you to say, Oz. Still, I'm aware that Jamie might miss having known Stephen better. You know, there's such a bond between a parent and a natural child. I, I just wish that Jamie could have known Steve better. It's unfortunate that they couldn't have been close. Stephen would have made a wonderful father. But no better than you, Mac. You have to know that. It's very nice to hear. Especially from you. Thank you. Well, I hope this is nice to hear, too. You've got to get some rest, Mac Corey. Okay? Okay. Thanks again for coming to visit me. Sure. Oh, Alice. Yes, ma'am. If Jamie comes by with Sandy Alexander, would you make sure they're allowed in? Oh, of course. Unless you're asleep. Wake me. Mac. No, no, Alice. It's very important. I need to talk very badly to both of them. Okay, go back. I have to work. I've got to stay another couple of hours. Oh. I'm sorry. Russ. No, it's all right. It's all right. I don't mind. It happens. Yeah, well, I, I don't know why it had to happen tonight. I wish we could drive home together. I mean, we could talk or try to talk. I know. Did you, did you want that? Of course. But it's all right. I understand. You're sure? Rick, I don't know what you're getting at, but I, I do understand. It's okay. I mean, if you have to work, you have to work. Yeah, okay. I read you. There she is. <laughs> oh, my sweetie. Sweetie, how are you? Have you been a good girl? Oh, of course. She's been a good girl, as usual. Welcome home, Mrs. Corey. Thank you, Louise. Jamie, mm. are you sure you're all right? Oh, I am now, Louise. Thank you. Louise, have you heard from Sandy? Has he been here or called? No, he hasn't, Jamie. I wish you'd keep in touch. He'll come home eventually. Did he? I hope so. Amanda, come here. How you doing, kiddo? Jamie, oh, so may I fix you something to eat or, or maybe run a hot tub for you? No, thanks, Louise. For the moment, it's just good to be home. Mm -hmm. I'm sure glad we ran into one another. Mm, so am I. I really wasn't looking forward to dinner alone with Rick having to work late. You did look a little blue when I saw you after work. Yeah, well, I guess I was. You're having trouble with Rick, aren't you? Oh, I don't know, Alice. I don't know much of anything anymore. Did you two have a fight? Yes, we did. In a way, it was my fault. I started it. How? Well, ever since I lost the baby, I haven't... I've been afraid to make love to Rick. Oh, honey. Well, have you, uh, have you talked to a professional about this? Oh, yeah, I talked to Olivia about it. What'd she say? Well, she said it was common after a miscarriage that it passes with time. That's true. So what are you two fighting about? Rick thinks that there's uh, another reason that I don't want to make love with him. What is it? Jamie. Jamie? Well, honey, you do love Rick, don't you? Yes, I do. Well, what about Jamie? I'd be lying if I didn't admit that I have some feelings for him. Well, what do you want, then? It's 
certainly good to have you both home. Oh, it was quite an ordeal. I know. Tammy, isn't there anything I can do for you? No, I think I look worse than I feel. Well, that's a relief. It appears you weren't treated too well. No, I'm afraid they weren't fooling around. Mrs. Corey, is there anything I can do for you? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Mac has told me that he would like me to take care of Amanda while he's in the hospital. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, it'll be such a treat to have her with us. So if you could get some of her things together for me. Of course, Amanda and I will pack Bye. up some things right away. Excuse us. Bye-bye. Oh, I, I dips this couch. I, I'll get that one. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, this feels too good to be true. Uh, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I am now. Now that Mac's going to be okay. Well, it was terrible just seeing him like that, not being able to do anything. Must have been horrible. It was horrible for all of us. I'm just glad it's over. You going to sleep over here tonight? I don't know. Cecile said she was coming over here from the complex. I'll see what she wants to do. What do you want to do? You aren't asking me where I want to spend the night, are you? No, I guess not. You sure you want to get into this? No, I don't want to. I know you never liked Cecile. Wait a minute. I just am asking you where you stand. And how I felt about Cecile has never been a secret. Mom, she put herself in a lot of danger trying to save our lives. I owe her for that. Maybe. I do. And if she really wants it, I'm willing to try very hard to put our lives back together to make our marriage work. If she really wants it, I'm going to give her my best. Do you love her? I want to. That's not enough, Jamie. Maybe not. Not in a marriage. going to have to do for now. Uh, thank you. This is beginning to feel like the good old days again, isn't it? And this is beginning to feel like the good new days. That's what it is. Guys, you are in a good mood. What gives? Oh, honey, you are now looking at the newest member of the Bay City Police Force. Gee, are you, are you with the department again? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy. You know, we were worried about you. I thought you were never going to come out of that loft. Well, I figured that I had to do something to uh, keep all you people from nagging at me. Well, it looks like the nagging paid off. It sure did. Hey, Jerry, why don't you stay for dinner? We got plenty. Uh, I'd love to, but I had better get going. Oh, come on, Jerry. It's been a long time since you sat down for a meal with us. Yeah, it has been too long, but uh, I think I had better concentrate on getting rid of this headache. Oh, you've had that all day. Yeah, I know. Maybe a nap will help. Anyway, I've got to stop past... Uh, Brian's office and let him know I'm back with the department again. Yeah, you ought to do that. He's been real worried about you. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to see him. Well, then how about later this week? Oh, well, I was hoping you were going to say something <laughs> like that. Okay, buddy, I'll see you in the morning. Then. Yeah, I'll take this with me. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm going to have to get you reacquainted with the guys again. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I am looking forward to that. Okay. See you in the morning. Bye-bye. Is this big, big oh, girl? girl. I see. Oh my goodness! What a big hug from a big girl. You got to put some yesterday. Yeah, she certainly Three dimples. Has. Four dimples. Come on, let's go over here. Let's get some friends. It's such fun having her back with me. Oh, we've got some cows. Must be nice for both of you. Well, Mac is recuperating. I have a feeling that Amanda and I are going to be together from now on. Amanda, honey. Your little brother and Nancy are in the living room playing with blocks and things. Now, Here's why don't you take the coloring book and show them how good you're getting, huh? I'll be here in a minute. Or the little cows. Orsi, 
You know, the separation is tough enough on her. She doesn't have to know that you and Mac are fighting over her. All more reason for her to be with me from now on. The court has not decided who's getting custody of Amanda, and I'm sure that Mac is still determined to keep her. Yes, but now they'll be able to see that I can take good care of her. I've got a, a home for her. Of course they'll award her to me. I'm her mother. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. I'm going to get custody of Amanda. Well, you're in a good mood today. I feel as though a weight has been lifted from off my shoulders. Ah, uh, well, your life hasn't been dull, I'll give you that. Oh, oh, hmm? that smells good. Yeah, but now everything's going all right. Mac's going to be all right, thank God. And Jamie, he's getting his life back together again. What about Mitch? What about him? Where does he fit into all this? What are you getting at? Well, don't you think he uh, feels a little left out of your life? He knows what I've been going through. He understands. Well, he might understand it with his head, but he doesn't have to like it. So you talked to him or something? Yes, I have. So what did he say? He's afraid he's losing you. He's not losing me. I love him. Yeah, well, you love him, but he uh, is getting a little tired of competing with your family. This has been a very difficult time for everybody. Well, when isn't it difficult? I mean, things always keep popping up. I think Mitch has been more than patient. So what am I supposed to do? Convince him that you love him. But he knows that. No, he does not know that. Now, I think you have to go and tell him. I mean, he has a lot of doubts about the future of your relationship. I'd like to go home tonight. It's been a long time. All right, but I'll be in the kitchen if you change your mind. You're sure I can't fix anything for you? Oh, well, maybe. Maybe something, if it wouldn't be too much trouble. Yeah. Something light, though, I haven't had too much to eat in the last few days. I don't oh, think I... here you are. I called the hospital and no one seemed to know where you were. So here I am. I'll make you a sandwich, Jamie. Thank you, Louise. Excuse me. You're looking terrific. I spoke to Pat today at the complex. Good, did she explain? Jamie, really? What were you thinking? What are you talking about? <sighs> Will you please explain to me your thought process when you made her managing publisher? I think for a minute, Cecile. That's her job. I was only filling in for her when she was in London, you know that. <laughs> but I have been doing that job, Jamie, ever since you had your little incident, me and Sandy. Yes, I'm well aware of that, and I appreciate oh, it. Oh, and is that how you're showing your appreciation? By giving my job to I spoke to, to Mac today. And Mac wanted Pat to take it from He you. wants me to take over for her. Then you are coming back to the complex. Yes. I'll be uh, taking over for him while he's in the hospital, and Brian will be helping me out. Jamie, look. Honey, I, I, I just don't think that, that you should be taking on so much right now. I mean, I thought that, that you were supposed to take time off after all that's happened to you. Time away from the complex, remember? that? Yes, and I did take some time off, in a manner of speaking. Mac needs me right now. So tomorrow, I'll be back. And Pat will be running Bravo. Yes, and you'll still be the editor. Oh, well, that's hardly the same thing. And I imagine Sandy will be Pat's assistant? No, he'll continue to work with me. Oh. I just don't know where this leaves me. Well, you'll still have Sally. Jamie, you are making a mistake. I just don't think it's a good idea for you to be coming back to work so soon. Honey, it's, it's long overdue. And I'm fine. I'm, I'm a little tired, maybe, but I'm fine. Then you are not going to reconsider. You'll just push me aside and let... Pat I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh. Of course. Sure. Let's not talk about it. Let's just forget about Honey. it. Honey... I want us to go home. 
together. Jamie, I don't. I want to stay here. I'm too tired. Are you coming? No, I have a few manuscripts to read. Fine. Good night. Still early. I wanted to stay up anyway. I, I'd really like us to talk. I have a lot I want to say to you. You want to talk about what? About what's been going on between us the past few days. Come here. I don't like to fight. Yeah, I don't like it either, Rick, but it seems like we can't even talk about certain situations without it happening. And I, I just... I want us to clear it up right now. Is this about Jamie? Yes, it is. I don't really No, just want a second. To... Just a second. I want this to be our last discussion about him, Rick, because what I have to say is really very difficult... And I don't want to lie to you. Look. No, you just listen I... to me. Just listen for a minute, please. It's true that I came back to Bay City last November because I wanted to see if there could ever be anything between Jamie and me. And maybe I had created a kind of fantasy love for him, but that's all it was, Rick. It was just a fantasy right here in my head. All we ever did was have a few really casual dinners. Now, Jamie was so involved with Cecile that he never thought of me as anything but an old friend. <laughs> we started seeing each other. And I began to care for you very much. Care for me? Yes. And then Jamie married Cecile... And I, uh, well, I finally had to uh, admit that Jamie was all over for me and that it was time to get on with my own life. And that life very much included you. Yeah. And then I, uh, I got pregnant and we got married. Yes, well, I know all that. Yeah, I know you know, I know you know, but there's something that you don't know. The, uh, the night before our wedding... Jamie came over to see me. He had just lost his job at the ledger. And uh, I don't know if he was drinking or if he was just upset, but he just really needed to be with somebody. And so he came to you. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Why didn't he go see his own wife? Now, listen, I want you to hear all of this, okay? Uh-huh. Jamie asked me, he wanted to make love to me that night. But we didn't. I told him I was marrying you. He stayed the night. But he, uh, he stayed on the couch. And the next morning... He asked me why I was marrying you, and do you know what the answer was? No, what was I told him I was marrying you because I loved you. And he left. And as you know, he went back to Cecile after the wedding. That sort of explains his condition at the wedding, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I don't know whether it does or it doesn't, but I think it's important that you know it happened or, or that it didn't. And, and, uh, do you love, I mean, are you in love with Jamie? I 
I'd be lying to you if I said that I didn't have any feelings for him at all. No. You do? Yeah, well, <sighs> you see, um, Jamie is just this kind of person that you want to reach out to, that you want to hold and tell everything is all right. But I love you, Rick. And you're my husband. I know. Look, I want our marriage to work. But you admit that you have feelings for him. Feelings, yes, but that's all. Mm. You love me? You want, you want this to work? You think it can work? I hope so. I don't know. Thought I'd find you here. <laughs> well, you thought right. Hey, it's good to see you again. Ah, uh, it's good seeing you, but uh, what is all the house cleaning about? Well, I'm moving over to the complex. Uh, I'll be working out of an office there. Uh, Jamie's taking over, and I'll be helping him. Well, that'll be nice for a change. Yes, it will. Yeah. Now, what brings you up here at this time of night? Well, I had some news that I wanted to share with you. Oh, well, I'll make us some instant coffee, and then we'll talk <laughs> about it. Sit down. Okay. What's the news? <laughs> hey, when did this happen? Today. Well, you seem pleased. I am, Brian. I really am. You know, just being in a police station again gave me a feeling that, that I hadn't realized I'd been missing until I got down there. And that's really what you want to do? Yeah, it is, Brian. It's something that I can't wait to be doing again. Then you've obviously made the right choice. Yeah, I think so. Larry and I are going to be partners again. Oh, that's great. You know, you were a good cop, Jerry. And I will be again, too. Oh, I know you will. Yeah, look, I have got a lot to do, and it looks like you have got a lot to do here, and I just wanted to let you know that I was back in working order again. Well, I appreciate your coming over to let me know. You know, you had me worried there for a while. Well, if it... Uh, wouldn't have been for your coming over to the loft and shaking some sense into me. Maybe I wouldn't have done it. Thanks again, Brian, for everything. Thank you for being so patient during all of this. Said it was important to you, I tried. I couldn't help being involved, but it's all over now. Well, for now, there will be something else. There always has been since we've been together. I can't help worrying about my family. Well, you always will, as long as you're in the center. You think we should leave? Why not? You're not due for a crisis for a while, are you? <sighs> I think I'll get custody of Amanda. And Jamie, he's doing all right, isn't he? Yes, I think he got through this ordeal very nicely. Good. And Ada, she's got a life of her own. <laughs> she's fine. And what are you doing? What's keeping you here? Nothing, I guess. I was thinking about moving, so I could go ahead. Get things set up for you and the kids. I think you're right. You'll come. You seem surprised. I am. Well, why shouldn't I go with you? You're a very important part of my life. Oh, really? Mm hmm Why don't you show me just kind of as a reminder? Oh. Yeah, maybe I could.
to think starting a whole new life somewhere else. Is it frightening? No, why should it? I have you and Amanda and Matthew, that's all I need. It might be a while before we get settled, established. I don't care. No money? I don't care about that either. As long as you hold me like you're doing now, I have everything I need. each weekday at this time for the continuing story of Another World.